look at that flaring up on your screen right there. That blob, you see it yourself, that is going to bring a big flood threat. I've been talking about the last stuff that the last few videos, so I want to get into that. That grabbing your attention right there. So that is something I'm going to be watching very carefully. These are all the tropical waves. And here's the issue. Uh, this is what I've been watching for. Again, I'm not seeing signs that these are spitting up like tropical storms or hurricanes, but look how each tropical wave just kind of dives down over the same area and then swings back near Grenada, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Guyana and Trinidad and Tobago. That training effect, it's one after another, and that's a big concern for flooding because we don't get much of a break. It's like a day and a half, two days, and then we get dumped on again. The ground is saturated. We still have standing water in spots. The rivers have been rising as a whole. So again, this is a big issue and you see this blob here. Now it's mainly just to the north of Guyana. Some of it has moved in, but this is going to move in tonight and tomorrow. And then on the back side of it, more scattered storms. Now here's the deal with this. Uh, as this moves in, it's going to give us tropical storm conditions in spots. It's not organized. So it's going to be one of those scenarios where some spots just don't get a lot. Uh, but other spots are going to get dumped on with tropical storm wind gust and uh, rain like it's a tropical storm. That's how a strong tropical wave acts. And that's why we're going to see that high chance of flooding. Again, this spots may be a little bit different. One area may not have a lot. Others may get it, uh, get dumped on with some very heavy rain. And that's as we swing. Let me zoom a little closer here to this tropical wave. Northern Venezuela, Trinidad and Tobago. Now, when I look at this map as a meteorologist, I'm looking at this white shading and I'm, it's telling me there's a lot of moisture with this. There's a lot that could dump from the sky. So this white shading, that would be 100 millimeters of rain or four inches or higher, and that's going to lead to flooding. Now, with that said, this is a computer model. So again, you see this white shading here, and maybe a little bit more over here, could be a little bit over here. This just gives me a feel that that available moisture is there with this tropical wave, and that some spots are going to get over 100 millimeters of rain, which will lead to that flooding. And again, on these scales, we have millimeters here, inches here, millimeters, inches. So again, uh, depending on uh, what you would like to use, I try to keep both on the screen uh, to try to help out as many folks as possible. Again, this tropical wave, the highest flood threat starts tonight into tomorrow. It is a strong one. I'm watching those rivers and streams, but just simply elsewhere. Since the ground is saturated, those areas that typically flood, I do expect some flooding if those downpours move in overhead. Now, of course, I've been talking about Trinidad and Tobago because that's where it's kind of moving in. It's moving right as a right at us in Trinidad. So 70, 80% chance of rain by tonight into early tomorrow and watching out for that flood threat. Same thing, Guyana.